You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. With the winter season soon upon us, it's always important to remember basic safety rules when dealing with heat and power sources. Pikeville Fire Department offers some insight on what to do and what to avoid when preparing for the cold. Following their advice can help prevent potential household disasters. You need to really make sure that before you start using the furnace is to have it checked out or you can check it out yourself. Make sure it don't have uh, any type of material that is laying on it. Uh, or something that might fell down behind it in the wall because there's different types of furnaces. You can have furnace wall mounted furnaces. Uh, there's some actual space heaters and stuff. You don't want to make sure you just want to make sure there's no debris because that laying on their lint or whatever, it can also catch on fire when you start turning using it. Furnaces aren't the only concern. Winter storms can bring about power outages, which will lead some to using a generator and should also be handled with care and attention. Make sure that your CO2 detector and your smoke detectors are both operational that's in the house. Uh, you need to change the batteries out, change the batteries out, uh, make sure that they're good and clear, nothing, because a lot of people don't know this, you can get dust on those little the sensors. So it may not hurt to take it out and, and with a like a light below, or if you want to use an air compressor, make sure it's real low setting, just like a can of air, like you use for cleaning dust off your keyboard. Also during this time of year, uh, a lot of people have what they call backup or standby generators for a case when the power goes out. Um, depending on how you're using them, make sure that they're at least 10 to 15 foot uh, from the house. Uh, make sure the exhaust is definitely pointed away from the house because you don't want the exhaust fumes coming in if you're actually using it. You gotta keep all this in mind. Make sure that you're doing the right steps. Like I said, making sure everything's clean, filter, new filters, batteries, make sure the generator runs, um, all the filters on it's been checked. Um, if you're going to use any type of electrical heat that's off that generator during a power outage, you just make sure that it's rated for what, what that generator is able to put out to make sure it's working properly. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.